Can you hear that? It's June and it's pouring rain. In this video, I'm going to go over some cups that were specifically made for someone with a low cervix or cups that might just feel more comfortable if you do have a low cervix. If you have a prolapse, these cups might also interest you. If you have a high cervix, you're still welcome to use these, but some find that these are a little bit more tricky to reach when come time for removal. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This video had been requested quite a few times over the last few months and I'm really sorry for the delay but I got word that there was going to be a brand new cup to the market um, that was specifically for someone with a low cervix so I wanted to wait until that was manufactured and then shipped to me. Um, so it's going to be featured in this video as well. First of all, most of the V-shaped cups will probably be out the window. These are normally longer and may sit or poke outside of your body, making the cup feel uncomfortable. Some people find that the small size of the V-cups might feel fine for them, and others still say that it feels too long. I'm going to go over the two different styles of bell-shaped cups. The first shape is the cup with the flared rim, and you can see here on my Lena that when you get near the rim of the cup, it starts to flare out. These styles remind me more of a bell. The second style of bell-shaped cups are those with the regular style rim. The ruby cup is one of those cups, and you can see it still has that bell shape, but it has a regular rim like the average menstrual cup. These cups remind me more of a hoop skirt. So the bell-shaped cups with the flared rims tend to ride up and sit higher. The cervix can sit comfortably inside of the cup. The rounded base of the cup allows the cup to be a little bit shorter and gives you back some of the capacity you lose with the length of a V-shaped cup. It also hopefully helps it feel more comfortable while it's inserted since there's no pointed or pokey base sticking outside of your body. Here are some bell-shaped cups with a flared rim that fall in this category. And on to the bell-shaped cups with the regular style of rim. These cups don't seem to ride up or sit as high as the cups with a flared rim. Your cervix can still sit inside of the cup comfortably. It has the rounded base, doesn't compromise all of the capacity, and may be easier for some to get this cup to open. Some of these bell-shaped metro cups with a regular style rim might include a secondary rim, which gives it a little bit more firmness in that area, helping it to open. If you're using a metro cup with a flared rim and are having bladder issues, you might find that a regular rim will ease some of that pressure. Here are some bell-shaped cups with a regular style rim. There are a few cups that were designed to be shorter than the average cup on the market, but they don't have the label as a low cervix cup. However, a lot of people find that they are favorable for their low cervix. Lastly, there are cups that were specifically made for someone with a low cervix. Normally these cups include the name or title as shorty, low cervix, or mini. Here are some of those cups. I hope that you find a cup that suits your needs and feels comfortable within this video. If I missed anything or if you have additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also down below, let me know if you have a low cervix and tried another cup that felt too long for you. Let me know what cup it was and the issues you had with it. Until I see you next time, take care.